Hello. Ah. Uh, 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 it's it's hello, Ilya. Hello, everybody. Oh, it's Ilya. Look, it's everybody. Ilya and, Lepo, and together we make Ilpo. Ilpo Yakinen, yes. Ilpo Yakinen. Have a good lurk, Salop. Thank you for lurking. Yes. Thank you for lurking. Ilya is actually moving today. Yes. So I'm slightly bit blurry, but I am still moving. Yes. It is working. <laughs> Everything is going according to Keikaku. So a translator's note, Keikaku means plan. <laughs> yes. Repoyaki dads. <laughs> mm, I, I had a thought mm? after the last stream. We should have uh, uh, given our character Ilpo Jakinen a Finnish last name, like Jakinen, but we should have written it like we would in Finland. Like J or... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> J-A. True, but also... Yakinen is fine. <laughs> yep. Yes. How, how can I banger. already be thirsty? <laughs> I have to drink uh, water. Well, what, what kind of thirsty? No! <laughs> no, it wasn't that kind of thirsty. <laughs> I've had to make a downgrade myself. I've been just drinking. Freeway Cola, which is the little brand, but oh. it's so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't usually go to little myself because it's a little, mm. little. Nowadays, it's a little bit yeah. far, far away from me. It is uh, a little uh. far away, but yeah. I have Today... like I have like little right across the street from me, so oh, lucky. <laughs> but but also. They sell Coca-Cola nowadays, so I usually go for that. Yeah, but I was just checking the price for uh, Freeway Cola, and it was like 73 cents per liter. And Whoa. then I, yeah, then I uh, compared it to what Pepsi costs in my uh, my nearest store, and yeah. it costs one one euro seventy four cents per liter there. Ah. So it's it's so wow. much cheaper. Hello, Hello. Death Awakener. Hello, Welcome. Death. And thank we you are... for hosting. Thank you for the host. We are talking about drink prices here. Yes. <laughs> uh, prices of... Uh, what would you call freeway cola? <laughs> Knock off co Coca-Cola? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and also, uh, it's been years since I've last tasted this, but I didn't remember it tasted this good. I thought it was like complete garbage. I haven't. Maybe they did mm -hmm. I haven't. <gasps> Oof, I haven't also uh, drank it uh, for a long time. Yeah. Should we? Should we go into the game? Yeah. <laughs> we have been kind of, kind of just chatting. <laughs> yeah, this is just chatting stream now. I call knock of cola, Coca Cola, just cola. Mm. Yeah, but cola is like all cola drinks. It's the type of drink. Mm. Yeah. I call knock of Coca Cola, just cola or Pepsi. Uh, hey, oh. okay. Uh, first of all, no. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi Master Race. Rainbow Cola is uh, as it is cheap. Kids won't see the difference. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this uh, Freeway Cola is even cheaper than Rainbow Cola. Hmm. I don't know if I have ever tried Rainbow Cola. Mm, I've or had... then I have. Uh, I, or then I just don't remember. It uh, yeah. could be I like, like a one time. Every thing. now and then. 
Mm-hmm. Because my closest uh, grocery store is of the <laughs> uh, is a franchise, so they have rainbow yeah. products there. So oh. um, okay, let's begin. I wonder if I should move us a bit so you're almost on top yeah, of the I'm text, kind of, but kind of also we like... we uh, read the text aloud, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, but... I will move you slightly. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Yeah, because might, I will try might to some people. sit a bit to the side, so uh, <laughs> you're not in front of me also. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, by the way, we have kind of decided which daddy we are going for, but we will talk yeah. about that in a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Amanda and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm. Seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. What is cauliflower? I oh. And also, uh, uh, cauliflower in like hot wing sauce is amazing. Ooh. Don't knock it till you try it. I haven't tried. <laughs> yeah, like uh, oven baked cauliflower, and you just uh, well, you dip it in the uh, wing sauce first, and then you oven oven bake it. It's so good. We are just. Talking about food and not play. <laughs> <laughs> this will take forever. <laughs> Any big plans for this evening? Actually, yeah. I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Is that okay? Of course. Just keep me posted. And be home before midnight. You got it. And be careful. I will. Make good choices. Of course. And call me if you need anything. Dad, you're not gonna do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that and I will never do that. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Do you have plans tonight? I, uh, my plans were kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> eating ice cream sounds like a really good plan, though. Mm, yeah. A shame. <laughs> All... <laughs> We are only talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but I just ate before, like, I yeah. finished my food like one minute before we yeah. started yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what can you do? True. Uh, yeah, it's it's super fun game. The writing is so good. Uh, is this another one of those? Uh, I like I pick and uh, in the end I end up sleeping. <laughs> Probably. Let's try working st some stuff. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. You know, dad stuff. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? That's not working on some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nephew has birthday party tomorrow. Oh, I miss... Enjoy the food, Salo. I miss kids' birthday party food. <laughs> you don't miss the kids or the birthday party. Yes. You miss the food. Yes. <laughs> Understandable. By the way, when did you, like, stop having... Or did you stop having, like... Uh, birthday parties every year. Do you still have them or? Mm. I still have them. I might, I might have skipped one year, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, of course, that kind of changed in tone <laughs> what they were <laughs> when I was a kid, but you know, mm. I, uh, birthday is the only, only thing or only holiday I celebrate every year. Wow. <laughs> 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 well, it's a nice party then. Yep. I stopped. Uh, it was kind of sad. I I don't remember what year or how old I was, but uh, I invited uh, my friends and some classmates over, and uh, it was like just me and my them. My parents weren't home and. Like, there weren't any of their parents uh, attending. Uh, and I had, like, planned some fun activities. And I had baked a cake myself. But no one wanted to eat the cake. No one wanted to participate in the activities. And everyone was just silent and... I don't know. I, I, I ran to my room to cry in the middle of it. Oh, <laughs> that no, no. That was like my last birthday party. <laughs> I was traumatized. Oh, no. Uh, it was like, you know, I don't know, maybe like preteens uh, trying to seem cool and traumatizing me at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, way to bring the mood down immediately. <laughs> <laughs> nice works every time. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember when, when I stopped having like those big kind of birthday parties, like where you yeah. would, uh, invite everyone in your class over or something like that. Uh, like a, when I'm. Hmm. For a lot, long time, it was just me and one or two friends, but I still mm -hmm. celebrate my birthdays yeah. every year, except that one year, which was like two years ago or something. I don't like uh, live in the same town, town as my friends anymore, so I pretty much just eat something nice. <laughs> uh -huh. But let's try to continue. <laughs> We're like yeah. getting distracted <laughs> all the time. Even uh, even if we in, even if we like point it out, we still do it. Hello, Yanis. Yep. That Welcome. is just what streaming with me is like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jones. 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 <laughs> Jones. <laughs> You know, yeah. like, uh, let's like, continue. yeah, <laughs> let's, let's continue. <laughs> Great. You... See you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. Ooh <laughs> I'd love Fun to be to <laughs> I'd love to be able to cook like that. Although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for for evil, like just making bake Alaska's all day instead of any food of real nutritional substance. <laughs> Baked Alaska. What is that? Chat, can you can you educate us again on the food topic? <laughs> <laughs> yep. This, I mean, hey, this game it, has a lot of things about food. Yeah, it was the game. This yeah, time yeah, that yeah, yeah. That distracted us. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional! I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind. And also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of yelling. I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey kiddo, you good? 
I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she, 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 sure she'll respond soon. Unless she's driving home now, in, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. Yeah, don't text and drive people. Dick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I reach into the free, 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 freezer. <laughs> good, good start. Uh, and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. I check my watch again, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, it's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episode of episodes of Kevin Chapman's Meetel are not only uh what the heck is that word? <laughs> Assuaging my anxiety, but possibly a uh, what is this game? Don't do this. Excalibrating. <laughs> Excalibur! <laughs> Exacerbating it with all the yelling, so I keep pacing around the house, waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why don't I don't know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who is MLP? <laughs> 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 I decide to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. Oh, thank God, it's her. Amanda opens the door and Shaw falls in. Finally, finally she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. So. Sweetie, thank God you're safe. Uh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my text? I'm I'm mad. <laughs> mad bro. Amanda pulls mad. her phone out of her pocket. Oh. Oh. Oops, uh, I guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda Ann. Hmm. Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now. Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Hmm. That. You're seriously overreacting. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? Mm. Um. This one? What do you Let's think? Let's go with that one. I don't know. I, I'm not a good parent. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You weren't responding it and it was just it was just like when you're dead. Oh no. Oh no. I have to stop myself from tearing up. Oh that I I didn't mean to. I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. You really scared me, just Please don't do that again. Oh. Uh. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to bed now. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? 
Mm. I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey. I thought about what you said last night. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. Oh, congratulations, Death. On killing the oh. Ender Dragon. Congratulations, Death, Ooh. on beating the Minecrafts. Yes. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well. Uh, um, what do you think? Mm, either option one or option two, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I'm a little bit more towards the I trust you to make good choices one. Yeah. Since, but... you know, we we had our reason to be freaking yeah. out, so... So, yeah. Let's. And also, it's good to, you know, have trust. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah, let's pick that one. Yeah. I also thought about it, and I'll try to give you your space from here on out. I gotta trust that you can take care of yourself. Team Yakinen. Team Yakinen. Oh yeah! <laughs> Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. Already did. Nice. Bless you. Amanda scarfs down the eggs in the time it takes me to wash the pan. All right, I'm at school. Many later. Wait, one more thing before you go. Hmm. What? <laughs> What's that book? Ugh. It's a social media platform. Wait. Hmm. What? What's a social media platform? <laughs> Ilpo. Ilpo. <laughs> no. Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. All right. I'll have you sound interesting on the internet. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile on that book, which, as it turns out, is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. Ugh. All right, Pops. We gotta fill, you, fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. Oh, yeah. Not the dislikes. Not the <laughs> dislike button. <laughs> Uh, this is a friendly reminder from your local. What oh. is my name again? Elias Yaki. <laughs> I was I'm just your, about to say Yaki. Your and friendly I was like, neighborhood, Elias Yaki. Yeah, I was like, I'm not Elias Yaki. Then what? The... <laughs> and remember to hydrate. Yes. Is this stream working? Is it? Uh, Let me check. I mean, OBS oh. is again just, you know, yeah. doing its own Give thing. Give me a second. Huh? It seems to be fine. At least on my end. Ah, uh, so. Internet maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 
internet we maybe for some... some yeah yeah we had some technical difficulties before we started <laughs> Wait, if your internet is gone, this awakener, how did you type that message? Dun, dun, dun. I don't know, it's a bit laggy on my phone. Like it hmm. stops to load. Um, no, yeah, I guess. Time time. Time. It, now laggy. it looks yeah. better on OBS. Maybe it's, maybe it's working. And because yeah. people are commenting uh, and stuff, <laughs> then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was, was a momentary uh, thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't check if it was lagging or anything. I was just checking if the stream was down or not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's better now. Yay. Good, 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 good. It might good, good, good. do that good. from time to time. Okay. On a Friday night, you are most likely to polish and sort my coin collection. <laughs> Net Netflix and Grill Baby, fall asleep watching the History Channel, torment my children with dad puns, or slink in Eiku slink, slink, Eiku, Eiku. <laughs> I'm <laughs> switching to the, the Finnish. <laughs> the Finnish is coming true. Ah. Uh, sink into blissful oblivion, sleep. Hmm. There are some good ones there. Yeah. Uh, Which everything one? except the first two ones are something, <laughs> something I'm completely down for. Uh, you mean you mean you would watch the History Channel? And yep, definitely. Torment. If you had kids, you would torment them with dad no, puns. No, or... I mean I already torment my fellow VTubers with like really bad <laughs> jokes. So that's basically the same thing, right? Yeah, and clips. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can never run away from those. Mm, I don't know. I think uh, Ilpo has been kind of a sleepyhead. Yeah. So maybe we would we should go with that one. Yeah, and also it will feel like more like a reality TV watcher than a history yeah. channel watcher. Yeah. Let's go with <laughs> the cons that. of being so radiant. It is messes with the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Not again! <laughs> <laughs> not again! <laughs> why? Why do I have to be so great? <laughs> If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? Oh, a desert island, not a deserted island. Mm. Mm. My trusty grill, the lost shaker of salt. Cast away on DVD for instructional purposes. <laughs> a boat, obviously. I don't need anything. My survival skills have trained me for this day. I feel like the last one is something Ilpo would say, like they 100% know that they don't have any survival skills, <laughs> yeah. but they just but have they to would... try to one-up everyone. Yeah. <laughs> try not to get caught for being a wimp. <laughs> yep. Let's, let's pick that one. Yeah, like what happened with the gym episode? <laughs> yeah. Dad jokes are fun. The farther you go, the better. Exactly. Uh... <laughs> yeah. What are your turn-ons? Strong dad arms. Tennis shoes with long white socks. <laughs> A well-manicured lawn. Street smarts. Top-tier grillmanship. Comfortable with crying. Hmm. Hmm, okay, uh, let's go through these one by one. I mean, everyone appreciates strong dad arms, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Tennis shoes with long white socks. 
definitely mm. isn't something I'm into. Yeah, <laughs> me either. I'm, I'm kind of like, um, I, I don't even actually own socks. <laughs> I do have knit what? socks, but though I, uh, I feel like knit socks go into a different category than regular socks. I have one pair of knit socks for this winter, and I don't have any normal socks. <laughs> wow. How how are your feet still alive? <laughs> uh, well, since I uh, spend every summer walking bare feet, my feet are perfectly fine because my the soles of my feet are basically like rock. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I step on I step on glass and the glass just turns into dust. <laughs> Oh, your superior uh, feet. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then okay. a well manicured lawn. Mm. Now, I I prefer more of like a a jungle lawn. Mm. You know. Yeah. That's my aesthetic. I also like. Mm, yeah. Also, I don't like mowing the lawn, so... <laughs> yeah, I also don't like when someone else mows the lawn, because yeah. I, I hate the noise. Street smarts. Hmm. Mm. Does that mean, like, like uh, street fashion? Like, what do you wear outside mm. of the home? No, I guess it's means more like uh being like having social skills like you know mm. uh or does it mean like me you know uh, how you know how to survive on the street <laughs> 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 let's go with that one <laughs> Stop your grillmanship Ooh, grill Mm. Grill, not... grilled food is yummy though. Mm. It is delicious. There's just something uh, you can't can't like <clears throat> uh, replicate with indoor cooking when you have like uh, s smoke coming from like coal or wood. Yeah, it's not the same if you use a gas grill. Mm. At least uh, that's my opinion on it. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is totally a grill dad. <laughs> he likes to grill. And it's delicious. Yeah, I think from our family I'm the most grill friendly person. I wish I wish I was good at grilling and cooking in general, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh one is quite strong though yeah it would be nice to get some nice grilled food you can't say no to some grilled yeah comfortable with but then again hmm? uh the last one as well comfortable yeah. with crying that is also an important thing <laughs> English is deteriorating really fast. I can relate. <laughs> Some days when I stream, I just don't know how to speak anymore. <laughs> <laughs> For me, that is language in general. <laughs> yeah. I just go like, what words are even? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to choose. Mm, but the question uh turn on turn ons like yeah plural can we pick several mm, i'm not sure mm. maybe we should but pick a stop one and then see yeah well works. i guess we talked the most about the grillmanship so <laughs> yeah maybe that's the okay it was it was the okay. only one you can yeah pick. Uh, what did you want to be when you grew up? 
technical writer for manuals and instructionals. That sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Salty boat captain. Pro skater who is also an astronaut. A good father. The president of space. President of space sounds cool. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Should we go with that one? Let's go with that one. What's your favorite movie genre? <sighs> war documentaries. No. Oh hell yeah, war documentaries. What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't being serious, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was really worried there for a second. <laughs> yeah. It was like the in the last last episode, last episode, uh, the last time on and Dream Italy. Daddy with Ilya. <laughs> <laughs> when I did, did that, like it might come as a surprise to some people, but I'm not actually a joke. Joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your avatar definitely doesn't look like one. <laughs> no, what do you mean? You mean that? That jokes can't have piercings. Well, probably not because you know, especially if you play ball games or stuff like that, then you know you could injure yourself pretty badly if you mm. have piercings on your face. So yeah, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> let's carry <Yeah>. on. <laughs> My wayward son, Sean Con Connery's entire filmography. Who is that? <laughs> mm, I I know he's played James Bond in some of the movies, oh. but has he done anything else besides playing James Bond? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably, but <laughs> I honestly just know that he's played in some James Bond movies. Okay. Anything on laser disc, romantic comedies, Whatever will make me cry. Old comedies that haven't aged well. Oh, hell yeah. The last one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like some really tacky 90s movies. Oh yeah. my god. They're so, they're so bad that they're so good. <laughs> yeah. Those are, those are fun to watch with friends, you know? Yep. Uh, maybe <clears throat> we should pick that one. Yeah. What's your ideal date? Napping Ooh. together, doing a thousand piece puzzle together, eating a healthy dinner at 4 p.m. What are these questions, by the way? I thought this social media platform for was for dads to talk about fatherhood and not not exactly. <laughs> what is this oh well uh, did I already say the third one I can't yes remember. okay trying to your cash but getting hopelessly lost arson <laughs> being emotionally vulnerable <laughs> Okay, a lot of those would actually be really nice, in my opinion. Not yeah. really the arson so much, but <laughs> I mean... I feel like well... some people would say <laughs> that arson would fit me, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, uh, is this uh, like a throwback of some of your Sims episodes, or...? Um, not Sims episodes, but I've talked about what I did in Sims as a kid, and uh, also <laughs> from me playing Dragon Age and accidentally bur burning my friends, you know, uh, <laughs> all well, the time. Who hasn't, who hasn't accidentally burned their friends once or twice? <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay, for me personally, yep. not Ilpo, Ilpo Jakinen, but Ilias Jakie. Uh, Trying to geocache but getting hopelessly lost would be the best one out of those. Yeah. That would actually be really fun. Because I, I do think... Yeah. Yeah, I do like getting getting lost. Like not too yeah. lost, but 
a little bit lost. Like you Me know, too. you if you if you try to, you can get get back home. But yeah. like going on a bike ride somewhere and just being like, where the hell am I? Yeah, I'm doing that. I I like also like uh, you know seeing new places. With, yeah, with someone I uh, trust, I guess. <laughs> Mm, maybe yeah and, maybe we should pick that one yeah and that's kind of like what i like in video games as well i just want to go explore new worlds and new places obs is doing it again obs no, no, no. you're grounded no. <laughs> <laughs> you're grounded obs but please work you you won't be grounded if you start working, please. <laughs> I mean, it works, yeah, but it's, it's it's like probably getting a bit laggy. Yeah, I'm watching the stream right now, and it, yeah, it is a little bit laggy. Yeah. God damn it! Why must you no, do this well, to us? It's not like we can actually do anything about it. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, we are. Oh, hello, hoo hoo. Hello, hoo hoo. How are you doing? I hope you have like lurking. <laughs> uh, how are you? Hoo -hoo. Did I already ask that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what do you never leave home without? A sensible cardigan, my sick wipe, <laughs> my book of world samples, and a pen, a cool knife, my cripplingly low <laughs> self esteem. <laughs> it's too accurate. <laughs> I frequent, frequently forget my phone keys and wallet at home sometimes. Um. Uh, <laughs> Please teach us how to not do that and you win a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, congrats on your 5G. <laughs> <laughs> also, did you figure out your USB problem yet or is it still persisting? Are we going to pick this one? Yeah, let's pick that yeah. one. I spend a lot of time thinking about Conspiracy, <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> theories. How proud I am of my child. Potential ends of the world. If I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love my grill. <laughs> when I can next get a cup of coffee. Lawnmower modifications. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, now I now I can see that these have something to do with all the characters in the game. These are so blatant. Yeah. Uh, it's not going but... blink plunk anymore currently, so it might have been the mic. Oh well, that that's good then. Ooh. If if just getting a new mic is gonna fix it. Hmm. Okay. Uh. What, what, were you going to say something about this? Was I going to say something? I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, you, but, uh, uh, you, said, uh, you said that these uh, relate to the characters somewhat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there was yeah. that. Like, these are definitely, like, each question correlates with uh, one of the dad candidates. Yeah. But also... I mean, they are uh, all dads, but you know, daddy, daddy candidates. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a 100 euro mic, but it, uh, I had considered upgrading. Ooh. Probably should be able to do that. Also, do you have, whatchamacallit now, insurance? That should, well, okay, it's usually like 100 euros. Minimum you have to cover yourself, but you could still try that. 
but yes uh, as a kid i spent way too much uh thinking about potential ends of the world <laughs> uh it was not nice yeah i as a kid uh the first time i thought about you know that i would die someday or the world would end and space endless space and stuff i i got kind of problems when i would think about that before going asleep <laughs> mm, yeah there is that i also had the same problem uh i think for me it started when i when i watched a documentary about the sun and they mentioned that the sun is eventually oh, yeah. gonna go out and i was yeah. like sun is gonna go out no yeah it's it's traumatizing kind of <laughs> yeah oh and also yeah uh, i once spilled like a glass of coke or well pepsi in my case uh, glass of pepsi on my laptop's keyboard and it went completely bonkers uh and it cost like it would have cost 150 euros to replace it but with insurance i think i only had to pay like 80 euros nice <laughs> <laughs> this study stream yeah, is getting ex well... existential <laughs> First we talk about food, then we talk about existentialism. Yeah. Uh, when are we gonna talk about daddies? <laughs> we have been kind of slow today. It's already <laughs> been like 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, well you know, if you would play this alone, you would be like far ahead already. <laughs> <laughs> you would probably have already. Should, uh, maybe we should just pick this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> Finally. We did it. No, don't give us topics like that anymore. So we don't yeah. start talking about this. Yeah. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. You should message one of them. Or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay. I promise I'll make some friends. Amanda gives me a hug. Go get him, dad. Yeah. Amanda's a cutie. Yes. By the way, do you... Do you want, like... Spoilers, uh... About some stuff we missed, uh... On the... Last time we played because we because <laughs> we were gonna like i mean oh oh it's l lagging again uh no no i mean the game uh uh because last time we were like you know we were uh there was the one choice uh where you could if you would go to sleep or watch a game. Oh, what's there? And oh, right, right, right. We yeah, picked uh, sleep. Uh, if yeah, you yeah. went to watch the game, you would have like met Robert, and I think maybe Joseph's uh, wife, if I remember correctly, in the bar. Ah. Uh, so we missed I'm that. Not... So. I'm not too huge on Robert, so yeah. I don't think we missed a bunch. I mean, Joseph's wife is, is well... I like her. <laughs> he's, he's a character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, there would have been an option to have a one-night stand with Robert. Candles. Yes. <laughs> Oh, what is this? <laughs> she has a like mustache and monocle on the <laughs> mitch. <laughs> Why is she on that book? Hi, Ilpo, it's me. Or oh, should you read that? Maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> that Amanda. <laughs> I... Yeah, I was wondering yes. what kind of 
voice I will give that one. The... Hi, little boy. Send me your dear old friend from <laughs> far way back in the day. That Manda. I'm delighted to see you signed up for that book. They've recently added this exciting new messenger service, so you may find yourself receiving messages from other dads like myself. <laughs> <laughs> Take care not to miss them. Amanda, is that you? What are you doing on that book? Well, I never. We've known <laughs> each other since business school. How could you possibly confuse me for your amazing and talented and easy to buy things for <laughs> daughter? I thought I'm of course flattered. You should buy Amanda more things. <laughs> Amanda, you know I didn't go to business school. I barely even managed to get my degree. Wait. No. Wow. I didn't say that. You never even you never heard that. <laughs> this is gold. I was a great student, I swear. I graduated graduated at the top of my class because I worked hard and ate all my vegetables. Totally holding on to this for later. Wait, do you even remember what I majored in? I decline to comment. <laughs> cool. Conversation ended. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, yes, now we, we have, have a already... choice. Yes. No, we don't have a choice because we have already decided. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. So, we have decided. Are you going to announce Damien! it? Damien! Yes. <laughs> Damien! <laughs> <laughs> We have selected Damien because uh, why? Why did we select him? <laughs> we both had our reasons. I my reason is I get to do a silly voice. <laughs> yeah, you like you like the silly voice, and I Damien is the only one I haven't played. I have played every other one, so. Why, thank you. <laughs> Why, thank you. Oh, oh, thank you very much. It is quite appreciated, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, by the way, I thought... Uh, a thought came into my mind. Uh, because Damien has the kid... Uh, was it Lucian? Yes. Lucifer, yes. Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't Lucifer, you idiot. Yeah, but <laughs> let's say that he is. Well, I thought that since you voice Amanda and Damien, maybe I should do Lu Lu Lucifer's voice. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds sounds good. Yeah, so That's you like don't have to voice act everyone. Yeah, and also I didn't remember at all what kind of voice I gave him last time. Well, <laughs> yeah. last time I kept changing his voice around as well because I couldn't remember. Yeah, have a nice lurk, uh -huh. Thank you for lurking. Yes. Um, I think I'm gonna grab. Uh, some more water, real, real quick. You can, you can okay. entertain our viewers in the meantime. <laughs> yes, I will entertain yes. them with my absolutely perfect voice. Yes. I will be right back. Yes, quite indeed. Hum, 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 hum. Would you be surprised if I told you that doing this accent is? Easier for me to do than doing the rally English accent. For me, it is 
actually quite quite a difficult to do the rally English. I have to think so much how to speak like a Finnish person. And since I am 100% completely not a fake Finn, I definitely do know that that how you speak English. I'm hiding behind <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. I'm quite, Did quite you stuck have fun? with this voice now. I didn't get to the fun part yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I I'm sorry it, for I... abandoning you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I can now I can drink the water. Yes. Ooh. What was that? This is freeway cola. I quench my thirst with sugar and caffeine. Actually, I haven't <laughs> checked if this one actually has caffeine. Yeah. All right. Are you are you ready for Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we are lagging again on OBS. Suck. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're welcome. And apparently, no, this doesn't seem to have uh, caffeine in it. Oh. Okay. Wait. Streamlabs is just yeah, doing it. Doesn't say anyway that it had. Okay, now it's working better. Okay. Uh, let's go. Ooh. That's Ooh. a lot of text. Yeah. Uh, I guess you uh, have to read it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll go for it since uh, I am no Damien after all. I don't know what that voice was, but. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I have to invoke my. You have to my summon. Inner, inner Damien. You have to get possessed. Yes. By Damien. Blood March. Yes. Damien wasn't quite as posh as my. Uh, that Manda voice, but still quite so. <laughs> How do you do? I have finally decided to join this information superhighway. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I will try my best to understand. I have loved, I love <laughs> long strolls through graveyards and spending time with my son. If you would ever like to chat about the latest in Victorian fashion, the in any inevitability of our own demise are black cats. Please send me a letter. On a Friday night, you are most likely to listen to a true crime podcast while I taxidermy my newest specimens. Uh... <laughs> what <don't>... specimens? <laughs> yeah. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? A coffin. And yes, I want to reiterate, it's a desert island, not a deserted island. <laughs> what are your turn-ons? Pronouncing bottom correctly. What did you... Was I pronounce it correctly? I don't know. Uh, is it bottom <laughs> or bosom? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea either. What did you want to be when you grew up? A bat. <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre? Foreign art house horror. What's your ideal date? It's night. We are at an industrial dark wave club in Berlin. The music drums to the beat of our hearts. <laughs> Do you never leave home without? An upside down cross. I spend a lot of time thinking about... Mortality salience. <laughs> wow. By I the way... I have no idea what salience or salience is. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. By the way... Um... By the by. 
I have not told you yet, but there is a possibility that we fail the romance. Oh no. So. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we but, will see but, what happens, you know. But but we did in our in our dad bio we did write that we we love having existential crises. So, <laughs> so that should be fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we will see what happens. Let's message Damien. Let's go. Woo. I so hope this will go fine. Yeah. Because I don't want oh God, to it's lag lagging again. Damien for for someone else. Game someone don't lag. Inferior. <laughs> don't lag game. Please. What was that? What? I'm sorry. I made a weird throat noise. Oh, I didn't hear it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe my microphone is not as uh, 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 sensitive as I thought. Yeah. Damien seemed really interesting. A little odd, but interesting. <laughs> I think I should hang out with him to get to know him a little better. I navigate to Damien's dad book, 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 book page and uh, type out the message. Hey dude, you seem cool. We should hang out some time. <laughs> <laughs> Is it here there for a minute before I see that Damien's typing? But then he keeps typing. And typing. Man, this is this guy writing a novel? I read like <laughs> <laughs> I leave the computer to make some coffee. And, Wall of text incoming. And he's still typing. I sip my coffee and the computer finally dings. Oh god. Um uh, give me a second, I need to <laughs> You you oh, need no. to uh, get yeah, possessed. Uh, this is going to, this is going to be a little bit difficult because I am having trouble seeing the text because Oh no. The, the core... Wait, actually never mind, I can cheat! I can I can read it via the via the stream. Yeah. Ilpo, I must confess my excitement to be receiving your kind letter for. As you see, I do find myself available to enjoy your company. I must ask for your forgiveness, however, as I believe our first meeting did not pain me in as gentlemanly manner as I would have liked. Oh, oh, there's more. Second, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be highly flattered to enjoy your companionship at my residence for an afternoon tea and a stroll around my garden should <laughs> please you. Till then, adieu. Tears humbled. Deep blood march. I stare at the screen and reread the letter several more times. Hey, Amanda. Amanda pops out of her room. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she'd been crying. Wait, is this another day? Where, did, I, where I wasn't she just I... going to school? Yeah, I got a lost the paying attention thing while we're talking about the <laughs> crisis and stuff. Yeah. Maybe this is another day. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, are you all right? Fine. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, surely. I'm cool. Yeah. I just found out the succulent I've been watering and sing to for the last three months was actually made out of plastic. Uh... Even the dirt was fake. Oh, 
Hän ei. Uh... <laughs> I would go with Are you sure that's all you're <laughs> upset about? Yeah. <laughs> But I don't know. Yeah. That the, you have to tell me what's actually wrong sounds kind of like yeah, intrusive. It's... Yeah. And I, uh, I'm, I'm, afraid, so I'm afraid that this is just gonna ignore the. Yeah, that Problem. sounds like sounds like we don't actually care about it. Yeah. Are you sure that's all you're upset about? If there's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you. And I'll always be here for you. Whether you need a shoulder, sh 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 shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Hmm. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate that. Yay. But I'm fine, really. Are you? <laughs> I'm unconvinced, I but I'll fine. stop badgering her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. Can you help me with something? Ugh. Dad, for the last time, I'm not popping your back pimples. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you no no can you inter interpret this for me oh. i turn the computer to amanda and see she squints at damien's message i just don't understand net speak like is this how you kids communicate with each other now yeah oh totally This is the hot new thing. See, Dad? He's got over saying LOL and Lamar, or whatever, <laughs> and decided what they needed to do was bring it back to the 1800s. So, what do I do? Where's your pen and quill? What? Did you forget to unpack the pen and quill? Dad. How will we address the nobleman in regards to your upcoming debutant ball? <laughs> okay, now I know you're messing with me. Father, without the proper chaperone, you'll never end up with a sweetie party of our land. Or our dowry. Or... So you read Pride and Prejudice for school one time and now you're reciting things you know about It back to me, aren't you? Huh. Like the first five pages, then I read a review of the movie. It's gonna be it, though. <laughs> Great. So, what do I say to Damien? I got this. Amanda reaches over me and types on the keyboard. Sure thing, dude. Regards. Yeah. Il <laughs> Amanda hits send and smiles at me. Well, I suppose that's that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was quick. Wait, didn't I say something about him painting the house black? Mm. When we are, were at the barbecue? Maybe. I don't think that paint is black. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the the window seals maybe, but yeah. Well, uh, I made the short walk over to Damien's house. Well, I guess you can't really call it a house. It's more of a manor estate. The Gothic ar architecture looms above the other homes in the cul-de-sac. I walk past a couple of gargoyles guarding the front door and look around for a doorbell. Uh, there doesn't seem to be one. I pull the large, ornately carved bat's head door knocker bat back and... <laughs> so... <laughs> A low sound echoes throughout the house as I strike it against the door. Oh. <laughs> I wait several moments before the door slowly creaks open. 
It's a little creepy, but I enter the home and take a few steps into the foyer, noting the oil portraits of who I assume are dead relatives hanging on the wall. Uh, as I'm admiring them, the front door slams shut behind me. Uh, uh, hello? Silence. An oil lamp in the corner flickers dimly, casting ominous shadows against the wall. Why do I feel like all the people in these paintings are staring straight at me? Why is it so cold in here? Where's Damien? Hilbo, pleasure to have you in my home. I look up and see Damien standing at the top of a majestic staircase with a walking cane. Cane? What? <laughs> walking can? Walking candle mm. holder? What is that? What? What is that? What? Yeah, I'm confused. Uh, 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 well, they probably type out walking cane. Let's uh, see. I don't know. So... <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. What's, uh, what's with the door slamming shut? Oh, sorry. There was a draft. And the door creaking open when I knock? I accidentally left the door unlocked. Sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> and the creepy oil paintings? I like oil paintings. Right. Ah. Right. Please, let me show you around. Okay. Um, I was just imagining <laughs> him installing like an electric door opener and closer <laughs> thing just just for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's like, uh, crouching on the top of the stairs, peeking down like with the button <laughs> in this hand. <laughs> Damien leads me around his house, showcasing his parlor, sitting room, auxiliary sitting room, and the parlor again for some reason. This is one of the older homes on the block, yes, but nowhere near as old as the architecture might suggest. Through extensive renovations, I have been able to craft a residence that is both historically accurate to the Victorian period and equipped with the amenities of any modern dwelling. We walk past the door covered in bumper stickers, caution tape and the black parade poster. Did they listen to my chemical romance in the Victorian era? <laughs> um, that's my son's room. You know how the rebellious teenage years are. Onward, onward, there's more to see. We reach a door at the end of the hall that Damien opens with a flourish. And this is the library. Sunlight streams in from floor to ceiling arched windows. Walls are lined with packed bookshelves and even more books are scattered over the period appropriate furniture. Damien is clearly Really proud of this room. Mm. I think we maybe can do more than one because of this. Yeah, but he was proud of his taxidermy thing, so let's look at the butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> Hot vamp daddy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh. I walk up to the glass display of tin bugs on the wall. It's pretty impressive. Nice bugs. I pinned them all myself. Maybe I could you maybe I could show you sometime. I will pin you. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm concerned I would uh, stick the pin right through my finger. Oh, the pinner's gambit. Is that a thing? No. Hmm. 
Maybe a Pick book? Pick up a book. You know, Ilbo, in the Victorian era, there was some controversy surrounding reading. Many people thought the more tawdry novels would encourage youths into a life of crime and would cause too much of a distraction from work and school. I pull out a book at random and examine the raw or worn cover. Opening it, I turn to a random page and read aloud. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't want to read this. No, you have no. To. <laughs> you have <No>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Go, Repo. No. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh my 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 tummy is hurting. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, let me calm down first, <laughs> and then I will try to read it properly. <laughs> I'm trying to keep a straight face. No, I won't. <laughs> okay, Naruto struggled against the change. That Sasuke has bound him, had bound him with shirtless and out of breath, he looked up at Sasuke. Sa Sasuke smirked, unbuttoning his ninja pants. Oh my. <laughs> you survived it. <laughs> oh, my cheeks hurt so much uh... from laughing. Oh. <laughs> Why wasn't it longer? <laughs> oh, okay, let me <clears throat> let me compose myself. Yes. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Yes. Okay. I think that's enough. Damien snaps the womb. <laughs> Sorry. Damien snaps the book shut and puts it back onto the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> we have exposed Damien. Oh no. Oh my cheeks. Oh, oh it hurts. Oh. 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 Uh, <laughs> let's look out the window and calm down. Yes, please. I walk on, walk to the window, and I'm greeted by a beautiful view of Damien's backyard. It so showcases a beautiful view of the rest of the cul-de-sac. Hey, I can see Craig, Craig on his lawn. He's doing push-ups with his daughters on his back. Damn. He sees me and waves happily. Doing push-ups with one hand now. Damn! <laughs> Stop bursting Damn. over, Craig! <laughs> Did you know that Victorians spent at least 20 hours a week gazing longingly out of full-length windows? Wait, really? No, but Victorians did appreciate telling a good joke. Please! Will you join me for tea? Oh, I need to drink. Oh. No, I need to take a bathroom break. Uh, should we take like a five minute, five minute break now? Yeah, we can. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. We will, we will be back in about five minutes. Yeah. Intermission. Go. Be right back.
Hello. We are back. Hello. Uh, we are now dehydrated. Well, at least dehydrated. I am. <laughs> I don't know where this voice came from. <laughs> it was a good idea to have a break because my cheeks hurt so much. <laughs> yeah. That, and that you know, ki just keeping, authentic. keeping, <laughs> keeping on talking after that would have just made it worse maybe yeah <laughs> yes let's continue uh. <laughs> i follow damien to his sitting room where a finger f where finger foods have already been set out upon a beautiful tiered silver tray I take a seat on one of the high back chairs as Damien pours and serves me some tea. I can't believe we're having a high tea. I never thought I'd get to do this. Huh. Damien smiles to himself. What? Oh. It's a common misconception that high tea refers to the wealth or class of the people enjoying it, but in fact, the high refers to both the later time of day that the working class had enjoyed tea and the height of the tables on which they are served. Oh. My dear friend, we're currently enjoying afternoon tea. D? Um, <laughs> no. <Freudian> sleep. sleep. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> <laughs> That's informative. Damien takes a seat next to me and serves me a tiny sandwich. Uh, your home is really impressive. Are there a lot of goths in Maple Bay or I like your cape? Let's flirt with uh, complimenting his house. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I saw eggplants. I saw eggplants. <laughs> there were definitely some eggplants flying around. We are definitely turning him on, maybe. <laughs> 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 it seems like you really put a lot of work into this place. Th Thank you. <laughs> no one's ever complimented my home before. Oh, poor, poor man. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I can barely get matching salt and pepper shakers in my place. And look at what you've done. I'm kind of jealous. That's very generous of you to say. What got you, <laughs> what got you so interested in goth stuff? Well... <laughs> uh... Mm. When I was a young boy, my father... Did he, hit... <laughs> Did he take you into the city? Sorry? Uh-huh. Did you guys see a marching band? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand. You're serious? Of course. But it's... You know, the song. Amanda made me listen to it. Seriously? I'd love to see a marching band. <laughs> Nevertheless, I've always had a love for art, history and fashion. I started off as a small hobby of collecting taxidermied animals, creating the sort of an obsession. It's a privilege to be able to appreciate the lives, lives and culture of those who came before us, I think. Why not go all the way? I like not dying when I catch a cold. <laughs> he takes a sip of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I can acknowledge that there were many very terrible things about the Victorian era 
and to try to live a life that strictly aligns with those ideals would be admittedly horrid. But I think it takes a critical mind to truly appreciate something to the fullest, to be a cognizant of its flaws and love it all the same. Tell me, Ilpo, do you have any hobbies? Oh man, I do. But I don't know if I care about anything the way you care about this stuff. Hmm. Well, I'd love to hear about your interests. Hearing someone talk about the things they're passionate about is intriguing and quite honestly, rather attractive. Hmm, that is quite true. <laughs> Please, yes. do tell me about your hobbies. Quick, sound sophisticated. <laughs> uh, I like Love watching. me some word jumbles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like watching soap making videos on the internet. Love me some I soap. I learned how to juggle wars. <laughs> None of these are good. No. <laughs> Instantly turns into a hillbilly. <laughs> oh, love me some word jumbles. No, <laughs> I, I have I mean, no idea. Uh, to be honest, the first one, like I like watching soap making videos on the internet. That you know, it's interesting to um, educate yourself on um, on making something, creating something by your own hand. I, I where actually, my actually is going. I actually have watched a soap making video on the internet. <laughs> I have to. Okay, then then we have to pick this one. Yep. Soap is uh, an important advancement in modern society. Getting rid of germs and stuff. I would say the people who make soap are the true heroes here. To watch them work is an honor. Hmm. I am tried making some mad ones and we both had to go to the doctor for nursing rashes. No. Which I guess goes to show that we should leave it to the professionals. We finish our tea and finger sandwiches. I don't know if you like that. <laughs> uh, Damon looks like a guy who could appreciate a craftsman. Yeah. You know? He didn't seem to believe us though. I don't know. His, his well, expression changed. Like Did it? Yeah, but but he didn't. We didn't get like minus points, I think. Yeah. Okay. Come, I have one more thing to show you. Oh no, is it? The, oh yeah, it's not nor Naruto. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Damien takes me around the back of his home, where a variety of flowers flourish, blood, blood, flourish in beautifully landscaped rows. A small stone path weaves through it, and butterflies flit lazily through the air. My God! Wait, that, that, that landscape. That we're supposed to be the sh neighbors. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know, backyard. I don't know. That's a pretty big... Well, okay. <laughs> okay, if they live in a really fancy area, I guess you could have a really big backyard. <laughs> I don't know how big, big it is. But yeah. That yeah. looks pretty big. <laughs> That's what she said. No. Hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you say that already? Yes, okay. I did. It's... Beautiful. Thank you. Victorians took flowers and floral arrangements very seriously. You see, it was considered uncaught to discuss personal and romantic relationships in public, so lovers and friends alike would use bouquets to send secret messages to each other. Each flower and plant is symbolic of different feelings. Even more interesting is that one flower could mean different things depending on the other plants it was paired with. One had to be extremely careful. Even the style in which the ribbon was tied around the bouquet affected the message. Damien leans down and plucks a gorgeous bright orange flower of 
of a wine. Lilium bulbiferum. The orange lily. What do you think this one means? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Uh. I. <laughs> I don't know if we can win with any of these. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's not go with the second one because that 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 has a not not the best ring to it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. These yeah, aren't very good it. choices. Let's try to be sophisticated here and impress Damien and go for the last option. Yeah. Three cheers for sweet revenge. For oh, all. Well, okay. You liked it. Well. Yes. The orange oh. lily is actually symbolic of pure hatred. Well. And that's precisely why floral arrangement is so challenging. What's your favorite type of flower? Honey suck off. <laughs> <laughs> no. Suck. <laughs> what is that in Finnish even? Suck. <laughs> Last week it was the ASMR. This week it's the echo <laughs> of suck <laughs> <laughs> i believe you've seen the meme yes the suck meme uh probably yes 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 i am trying to recreate it yes mm. and also i have no idea what honeysuckle is in finnish yeah i also can't remember what snapdragon is yeah i i know it but i just can't remember it Uh, dragon sounds cool though. Mm, that's true. Let's go with dragons. Yes. Let's snap those dragons. Because they're cute. And you can do the thing where you squeeze them so it looks like they're talking. What a lovely choice. I'll have to remember that when I put together a bouquet for you. Ooh. In before it symbolizes something like death or he, <laughs> something. He would put together a bouquet for me. Nobody's ever given me a bouquet before. I follow Damien down the footpath and admire more of these beautiful flowers. Suddenly a phone rings. Oh, Ilpo, will you excuse me? I must take this. He pulls a cell phone out of his pocket. I'm a little surprised it's not a rotary phone. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Damien smiles and walks back to the house. I take a deep breath and enjoy the heavily perfumed air. What a lovely, lovely yard. This makes me wish I had put a little more effort into that, that garden Amanda and I tried to start one time. Our watermelons grew to the size of cherry tomatoes and then immediately died. <laughs> oh, Sounds no. like me with plants. I've never tried to grow water watermelons, but uh, I tried uh, growing bell peppers once and mm. they didn't grow that big. They were, mm. well, yeah, it was basically the size of like three cherry tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh hey, a gargoyle. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> I knocked over the gargoyle. Oops. No. 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 Fix that garg. There are mini games. Oh no, oh, there's no. there's a time limit. Oh. Did I do wrong? Hmm? What? Uh, can you rotate it like 
uh, in the oh. vertical axis. Oh, I think it's not. <sighs> yes. I did it. Ah. Uh. No one will be <laughs> any the wiser. Yes. Visor wiser. Visor. <gasps> I don't like timed games, mini games. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, I hate timed stuff. It always makes you stress over like, yeah. will I do it in time? Uh, I can't mess anything up, otherwise I'll fail it. Whew, that was a close one. Uh-oh, here comes Damien. He looks upset. Ilvo, my sincerest apologies to have kept you waiting. There's an urgent matter that I must attend to, so I'm afraid I must take my leave. Is it Lucifer? <laughs> no problem, Lucifer. dude. Everything alright? Damien worries the hem of his coat with his fingers and looks away. Everything is perfectly fine, but I... Uh, it's Lucifer. <laughs> What's wrong? He appears to have... Well, his teacher needs me to come to school. Post haste. Do you need help? Oh no, you don't have to. Let me come with you. Us dads gotta stick together. You're right. This is one of Lucifer's more elaborate stunts. I would greatly treasure having another parent by my side. Let's go. Hmm. He's he's cool. Cool. <laughs> Damien and I walk into the school and are immediately greeted by an anxious looking Hugo. <sighs> hey Damien, you're here in record time. I wouldn't miss it for the world, dear friend. Wow, whatever it is, it doesn't seem like this is Hugo and Damien's first time to the My Kids Are in Trouble old Rodeo. <laughs> What is it this time? Oh. This Damien. You have to see to believe. Damien and I fall into step behind Hugo, who leads us through the busy corridors of the school. We pass by several classes in session, and I vaguely wonder if Amanda's around. Hugo eventually ushers us into a small boiler room with a flight of Rickety stairs leading down into darkness. Watch your step. I can hear faint voices drifting up from the basement, and they don't sound happy. As I'm led into the depths of the school, I recall the antics I got into as an angsty middle schooler. At least I can in I had enough sense to stay out of creepy basement <laughs> basements. I didn't. <laughs> We find another teacher in a boiler room tucked away in the back of the basement. With him are Lucien and Ernest, Hugo's son. Lucien has a bloody nose. Uh. Thanks for coming. I can make head heads or tails of this. I look around the scene of the crime and see a bunch of bricks and some masonry tools scattered around. What happened here? Ernest punched me. Oh, am I gonna? <laughs> Why is like both of them? <laughs> Lucien tried to kill me. Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that voice. <laughs> <laughs> it fits him very, very well, you know. <laughs> Does it? I have no idea what voice that was. <laughs> I have random buttons on my oh. on it my... was like a high pitched voice <laughs> like a, okay. a I'll I go with that then big oral <laughs> kind of <laughs> 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 he does look kind of like a squirrel squirrel kind of okay <laughs> the room falls silent I was not trying to kill you, dumbass. I was just trying to build a, build a brick wall around you and see what would happen. He 
promised me there was blind out here. You tricked me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Lucian, did you try to cast off Amontillado? Ernest? Uh, what? I don't know. I'm neither. I'm neither confirming nor denying that. I turned to Damien and, and whispered to him. What's uh, what's cask of Ar Amontillado? Huh. It's a classic Edgar Allan Poe short story where a man gets his enemy drunk, throws him down his cellar with with the promise of wine of a fine vintage, then buries him alive behind a brick wall. <laughs> It's a lovely story. So wait, Lucien, you tried to do that to him? I was curious to see how it would turn out. I wasn't actually gonna leave him there. What's the thought process here? That Ernest was just going to sit still while you slowly built a tomb around him? Well, it worked for like 20 minutes because he's an idiot. <laughs> But then he realized that I had lied, up, lied about the wine. And you were cackling maniacally. That sort of tipped me off. <laughs> Ernest. 20 minutes. Dad. It took you 20 minutes. Son. We just did an entire two-week unit of, on the cask of Amontillado, and it took you 20 minutes to realize losing was leading you into an elaborate ruse. <laughs> did you even read the story? I read the first five pages and then read a review of the movie. <laughs> it's only five pages long and there is no movie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're right. I paid Lucien to read it for me. Actually, he didn't even pay me. So when you think about it, this was me teaching him a lesson. Damien and Hugo both have their heads in their hands. You guys are always telling me to engage in the literature, and I did. I don't see a problem here. Alright, I'm filing this under what the hell... Don't do whatever that was again. You two are both suspended for a week. Ernest and Lucien high five. <laughs> the teacher starts to stomp up the stairs. Hugo, I'll cover your class. Take your son home. Mr. Blood March, you too. Thank you for your mediation. We all, all head up the stairs and out of the school in intense silence. <sighs> <laughs> Lucy and Damien and I all pile into my car and begin the drive home. Lucy and immediately puts his hood up, up and stares out the window angrily. I'm not going to therapy again. <sighs> I know, son. It's entirely up to you whether or not you want to go. But I care about you and I can see that you're struggling. So if you do decide that you would like to speak to a professional about your feelings, we can do that too. Maybe you can spend this next week looking for a summer job. I know how much you want your own car. I can't believe Damien's keeping his, his cool. I'm impressed. Fine. Thanks for not freaking out too hard. <laughs> I love you, son. Lucien continues staring out of the window. Love you too. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we spend the rest of the drive in relative silence. Ah. The moment we pull into the driveway. Lucien hops out of the car, slams the door, and runs inside. 
I didn't expect to have that conversation in front of you. He and I have a lot we need to work out. It's all right. And all things considered, Lucien's bricklaying was pretty good. So there's your silver lining. There is that, yes. Maybe the second one? Yeah, I was, I was thinking yeah. that as well. I really admire how you handled that. You were a lot more diplomatic with him than I, I would have been. I just want what's best for him. And I don't think yelling at him would do either of us any favors. It rarely does. You're a good dad. Whoa. <laughs> Big plans. <laughs> yes. See you around soon. It would be my honor and my pleasure. Damien bows with a flourish. Classy. Yay. I come home to find Amanda curled up on the couch with a blanket watching TV. I plop down next to her. No. What you watching? Tiny House Hunting Brothers Extreme Edition. Oh, I hate this show. The couple on screen bickers back and forth while standing in an extremely small house made out of recycled bottles. The tiny house hunting brothers watch them with bemused expressions, both of their heads touching the low ceiling. I told you I wanted the two bed, two bath, shabby, chic cottage. This house doesn't even have a bathroom. But honey, the auto is only 20 yards away. It's not that bad. I'm not pooping outside, Greg. <laughs> Why don't they just get a regular sized house? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Good afternoon, Tigo. It got strange. We had to go to the school to pick up Lucy and see since he tried to... He lured Ernest down the cellar with the promise of a fine vintage and then tried to break him into a wall, right? How did you know that? Has everyone read this story except for, except for me? Close and live stream the entire thing. <laughs> this entire day is beyond me. But otherwise, it was a fine day. That Damien guy is a character, but he's really good company. And a surprisingly diplomatic dad. Oh. I dig his style. You know what? Me too. Yeah. 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 Woo 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 woo. Date complete. Oh. Boo. Ooh. Yes. Oh, as yes. Rank it. Nice. Yes, we got an S. Until I had a date such as exquisite as this one. Oh. What was the that I, Damien's voice? I guess. I guess no. that was his voice. Didn't really hear it though, but <laughs> didn't hear what he said, but you know. Uh wait, I'm trying to wrap my head around these statistics. What? What? Real energy saving darkness or jaw summer basement afternoon tea. <laughs> I get the afternoon tea part and if that grill is uh, referring to the barbecue we had i get that as well but the well okay the basement could be the school thing but hmm? <laughs> i think they are just for jokes so <laughs> no 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 i have to i have to find the meaning behind this <laughs> there's a meaning behind everything <laughs> there's a meaning behind all of the the wacky reality shows they talk about in this game <laughs> i mean to be honest the writing for that is great yeah. Should we continue? Let's continue. Whoop. <sighs> How did you like our first um date with Damien? <laughs> it was a good date. Yes. At least we didn't have to stuff dead animals. Yet. Yeah, yet. <laughs> <laughs> 
While I'm doing my afternoon word jumbles, I hear the mail truck pull through the cul de sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. The nice mail person slides a couple letters and a large yellow envelope through the slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get it in. Hey, my coupons. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kinda of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay. Just thought you'd want this big old envelope we got from HIA. Immediately Amanda pushes, pushes her door open. For Institute for the Arts! I mean, if you're busy I can come back. Butter, please! I hand her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out the piece of envelope. She pulls out the letter and unfolds it. Oh. And this is a, the suspense is killing me. This is her, this is her dream school. Uh, Amanda's face is unreadable. Poor hmm. poor face can't be read. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. I got in! Oh! I got in! Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview and your photography is incredible. Oh. Wait, Dad. Oh. I know this one's really expensive. And it's so far away. I think for a moment. HIA was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to, but I know she's had her heart set on it for the longest time. It will be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Huh? Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie. We're celebrating tonight. Dinner, your choice. Wherever you want. <laughs> wherever? <laughs> Amanda and I walk along the bayside, peering into our foil rack burritos from a nearby food truck. She's been holding that face on ever since we left home. She she's glitched <laughs> into <laughs> in real life. You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Is that you know I'm a simple girl. Just give me a read with a view. I can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes and there are these colleges nearby and there's this kind if you bring your student ID and... Amanda, slow down. You're gonna choke on your burrito. I know, I'm just excited. Damage that students <laughs> get their own studio space once they're seniors, and we get all the professional photo editing software for free. It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA, but I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with a similar major and interest. I bet we're gonna be best friends. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Hmm. Oh no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. 
Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home on the one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. <laughs> Carl ruled. Oh, okay, if you have animals in dorms, this week, not saying you need one. I bet I could push one. I think I'd get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake. Or maybe both. Would the snake eat a rabbit, though? Oh boy, I think I'll leave all that up to you. I just saw something about, uh, well, there, there was a video in my YouTube recommended where mm -hmm. a, was it a squirrel or a chipmunk? I, I think it was a chip, chipmunk. Chipmunk mm -hmm. was eating an egg and I was like, what? <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> okay, it was a really small snake, but still. Ooh. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her, but I need to be real for a second. So, you know, I had the talk with Mr. Vega. Mm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put the damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park these last, last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that s s scholarship money. I know you can do it. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. I pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. And don't even get me started on the Paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. My eyes immediately well up with tears. <sighs> oh, Dad, don't cry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up now and you're such a good person and I hope you know how important, important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're gonna make me cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make it taste sad. I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. Nah. Love you, kiddo. Oh. Love you too, Pops. <clears throat> my voice is starting to go. Oh no. Oh no. Drink. 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 I have been drinking all day. Wait, what? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, um... drinking what? <laughs> <laughs> drinking freeway cola. <laughs> Not sponsored, by the way. Yeah. But we could be. <laughs> Little, if you are listening, you know, ching a ching. <laughs> Send us a message. <laughs> And money. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, um, you can send <laughs> or the... cola. Yeah, you can send the message via Ouija board. Yeah, we'll get it. <laughs> Ilpan and Amanda are so cute, though. Yeah, they are. Oh, I wonder if that sort of a parent-child relationship actually exists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Greg has messaged us. I guess. Hey, buddy, so I have a favor to ask. Robert invited me over for dinner. Bro. <laughs> and I know it's kind of a folk part to invite another bro, but... I've known the guy for years, and I still can't get a good read on him. And now it's gonna be a super awkward if I go by myself. Will you please come with me? Magnifying glass, magnifying glass, <laughs> magnifying glass, squirt, sweat. I love food. I especially love food that's free, and I don't know why you're so sweaty over cooking, but sure. Uh, I hope this doesn't uh, do anything. <laughs> yeah, be. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Uh, uh, is, there, is there a secret threesome route? 
Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, mm, is this like a bonus thing or? Uh, I mean. Should we check if this is gonna like? <laughs> but we already say that we are down. But I can always press back. <laughs> ah, true, true. Well, it's your call. Um, should Have we you check, had... you know, yeah, let's on check. Google oh, or sorry. something? Yeah, and after you do that, we should uh, probably save just in, just in case. Wait, no, we can't save anymore because we already sent the message. I think oh, we can save now. We can! Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's make a save so yeah. So if something bad happens, we can we can take a redo. Just a sec. I will be entertaining everyone with sipping sounds. <laughs> the major with sipping sounds. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, one time, one time. Sometime I'm going to make a stream where I just push all the buttons in my sound audio interface. <laughs> I have stuff like, hopefully that wasn't too loud. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, my audio interface only has two, like, sound effects, sound effects. It's got a bunch of, like, uh, different equalizer, equ equalizer options, but it only has, like, yeah. auto-tune and then the pitch. And then, well, of course, those, those, these sounds. Mm. I'm not sure. It doesn't say anything. I mean, I didn't find an answer. Okay, well, we saved, so... Maybe let's play it and we can always come back to this. Yep. If it goes bad. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Thank you, bro. Clap, sword. I really hope that's a sweat of relief. <laughs> yeah, bro, that was sweat. <laughs> Bro. That dinner. <laughs> uh, I guess we're yeah. going then. <laughs> yep. A bro dinner. Yeah, with Robert, was it? Yeah, Greg and Robert. Yeah, Robert is hell of sauce. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's an interesting <laughs> character, for sure. Yeah. Doesn't sound too bad. I could definitely go for free food. But why is Craig being so apprehensive? Does he know something about Robert that I don't? I hurry up and reply before my dad brain can work itself into a paranoia spiral. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Craig and I <laughs> decide to <laughs> meet up before heading over to Robert's place. Craig's waiting on my porch, bottle of wine, white wine in hand. Hey! You poor boy, am I glad to see you. Likewise, Bro. man. Classy of you to bring wine. Oh, it's not wine. It's sparkling apple cider. Rupert literally has a wine cellar, so I think he's good. <laughs> wow. Or at least I think he has a wine cellar. I'm genuinely unsure if he was telling the truth or not. I can know, never tell with him, bro. Thank God, it's not just me. I never know. He's so deadpan about everything, you know. I just was laughing off, but man, that guy's an <laughs> enigma, bro. We start walking over to Robert's house. Does Robert even know how to cook? I have sincere doubts about whether he even knows how to shave properly. Or are iron his shirts? I feel like you learn to cook 
after you learn those two first? No, that is completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I've maybe ironed a shirt twice in my life. Mm. <laughs> and I definitely know how to cook. <laughs> One time I saw him grab a hot dog from a trash can, bro. <laughs> like a real bro move. I mean, uh, it was at the very top of the trash can, like sitting above it all. <laughs> but still, bro, <laughs> if he were on trial, I think the jury would define that as in the trash, man. Meanwhile, Robert is just like looking out the window at them <laughs> talking about him. <laughs> In his defense, I've definitely considered grabbing food from the top of the trash before. Well, yeah, I think we've all considered it, but the difference is that Robert actually did it, bro. True. Maybe he's the enlightened one. Maybe we're holding ourselves back. We arrive at Robert's house and ring on the doorbell, but the doorbell won't chime. Hmm, must be broken. Craig knocks. On the door a few times. Since when does Robert have a dog? Oh, I don't know. That's weird. I can hear Robert just inside. Oh, one second. <laughs> this is on cherry the territory, Ilpo. What if he's the one making the barking noise and there is no dog, bro? It's so deep, bro. <laughs> Don't say that. We are not even inside yet. <laughs> Finally, the door opens. Robert looks a little surprised to see me. Ew, I didn't know you'd be tagging along. <laughs> Did Craig not tell Robert I was coming? Come on, Craig. I can leave if there's not. Nice. Mm, it's fine. Come on, yeah. We enter Robert's OG's living room, which is surprisingly really nice. Super messy, but still nice. Make yourselves at home. Hey, okay. it's even worse than my living room. <laughs> Look at all the bottles. He's got even more bottles than I do. <laughs> <laughs> we can still hear barking from the other room. No, I didn't know you had a dog, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Betsy. How the put her up when guests are over? <laughs> She'll calm down a bit. What kind of dog is she? A pit bull. Rescue her from dog firing appears. She hates strangers. If I let her out right now, I would probably have to take you both to the ER. <laughs> Frank and I make eye contact. He raises an eyebrow at me. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, Yenis. Oh, thank you for coming. Yeah. Good night, Yenis. See you. Good night. See you around. Good evening. Good bye night. Bye. See you. <laughs> Anyways, dinner should be ready in a minute. Hope you guys like Gossabu. Robert leaves the room, presumably to go to the kitchen. Craig leans in and whispers. Was the dog fighting thing real? Was he kidding, bro? I don't know. What's also Buko? I don't know. Did he make up that word? Until I have also Buko in front of me, we can only assume so. We sit in silence for a second, taking in Robert's living room. Are we about to get sword? Hmm. Hey, see, we're, we're whispering, but I didn't do the ASMR thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I know I know I'm now banned from doing that. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, bro. Usually you wake up in those situations. We voluntarily walk into this one. Robert finally walks into the room, carrying 
three paper plates of steaming food like a waiter. I don't have a table. Don't trust them. So are you here. Also, I don't have real people plates. <laughs> I hope that's okay. Robert sits placed in front of us on the coffee table. I still can't tell what it is. Looks like meat. Maybe. Lots of sauce. I can make out some vegetables. Yeah, good Good thing that we didn't pick Robert because it would have taken forever with your voice acting <laughs> like, <laughs> like a drunk. <laughs> yep. I think that might be rice, but it could also be pasta. Guess there's only one way to find out. I take a bite. Hey. Oh my god. I take another bite. The medley of flavors in this dish is amazing. The meat is so tender and the risotto, I think that what's it, what, that's what it is, is so creamy. Oh. Robert, this is really incredible. You cooked this. Mm. I feasted out of a dumb officer behind a restaurant. Or at least I think it was a restaurant. <laughs> no. Can you believe people just throw this stuff away? I guess like a surprised <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> like a, I can just imagine what's going on. Going on inside Greg's brain, yeah. like it's like a long. It's it's bra. like it's like combine the <laughs> surprised Pikachu with the with the mass symbols around the head, like looking around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I I can just imagine like a Windows ninety five screensaver, but it's just saying bra, just <laughs> hopping around in his his brain. <laughs> I almost gag. No, I'm kidding. I look over at Craig, who looks wary, but still has his mouth full. He <laughs> gives Robert a thumbs up. I'm glad you like it. Where did you learn how to cook like this, bro? Work in a restaurant in Spain for a hot Is he messing with us? I decide to play, play along. You live in Spain? I try to drop it out of college, I think. I went backpacking through Europe. Dressing couches and trash cans. Sleeping Hostels and bathtubs, whatever. No, bro. Worked a couple of dust shops wherever I could to scrape together some cash. <laughs> One night I'm eating dinner at this little restaurant just outside. My ear triad. <laughs> I go to pay and I realize the spin left my money on bulls the night before. Oh no. I'm in the middle of dinner when the manager gets <laughs> work in the kitchen. It's it's just getting more and more incomprehensible. <laughs> Short story long, they ended up liking me so much, they offered me a job. Not wire, right? Started living with some decent relatives on my mom's side. Over the course of two years, I worked my way up. Boost boy to straw here. Learn a lot. <laughs> Craig and I wait for the punchline. 
But the night met night watchman did he what night watchman did he swindle to get back to the States? Who did he con in a game of poker in the back room of a speakeasy for a safe passage in the crew quarters of a cargo ship? Anyway, I still love to cook. Uh, I don't know. Cook. What... <laughs> I don't know what's real anymore, but this food's so good, I kind of don't care. That's amazing. Oh. It really is. To be totally honest, I wasn't exactly. I wasn't exactly expecting gourmet cooking here. Especially not certain paper plates, bro. <laughs> uh, I don't care about fresh as it is. Sorry. <clears throat> if the food is good, it should speak for itself. This also Buko is screaming. Screaming? <laughs> screaming. screaming for vengeance. Screaming for itself. Uh, paper plates are just as good as regular plates if you double them up. You're wasting two paper plates at once. No. 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 Ah. Well, to be honest, you can reuse the bottom one, so I guess you're still just using one paper yeah, plate at a time. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hey, is it bad if I ask for seconds? Hell yes. Because they room for desert. I made lemon berries so far. Oh. Well, aren't you just full of Craig's looks Craig looks over at me. Surprises. Robert winks. <laughs> you bet I You can come over for dinner at any time. Craig. Uh, I'm gonna go get seconds. Me too. <laughs> After consuming way more osobuko than my body could handle, and then really ensure, ensuring a later, later food coma with a generous serving of whatever severing was, Craig and I decided to head out. Oh. Thanks for coming. I'm making an attempt to be more social. Well, we're always happy to stop by if you want company. Especially if there's also Buko involved. Bro, also Pugo is my <laughs> favorite new thing. Bro. Yeah. Bro. 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 <laughs> Bro. Oh, I wonder how we know uh, if we missed on Damien stuff or not. <laughs> Probably not. Knuckle tracking ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this this sounds like it was some extra stuff. Like, yeah, on top of everything, you know. Yeah. And we already had Damien stuff for the day. Yeah. <clears throat> um, now that we are on the menu, should we call it for today? I'm gonna go do a little, little shopping today still. Ooh. And also my voice is starting to go. A yeah, <laughs> it's always with when you have to read a lot. It it takes a more make takes more energy. Yeah, especially if you have to do a voice <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. also, I can like research if. If that was like a bonus thing, or or if we if we missed yeah. something, so yeah, let's make like... another save file so we don't overwrite. 
yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll keep on that. I got well, I think left. it makes a new one every time I save, you know. Uh, At least when when, when we were while. in the menu, it, it like showed us a list of the save files, so yeah. Naru ho do. <laughs> Arigato kosai macho. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love doing that. Oh, <laughs> uh, why did Damien have Naruto fanfiction in his <laughs> in his library? <laughs> oh, this is great. And uh, since you you haven't played Damien's route before, <laughs> you couldn't you couldn't dodge that bullet. <laughs> I could have never even guessed what was coming. <laughs> I was like, when when that came on the screen, I was like, am I having a seizure or something? <laughs> <laughs> is this is this the game? <laughs> yeah, speaking of uh, fanfic, I'm still 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 waiting for when uh, Mario does that Harry Potter fanfic reading. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hope she actually does it. Mm -hmm. But Let's yes. go to the title. Not yes. Yes. People, uh... It was fun playing games. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't progress. Days <laughs> we were mostly talking about existential crises and food, food. but yeah. you know, sometimes that happens. Yeah. Existential crisis. Crisis. Existential <laughs> rise. Sometimes it just happens. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, mm, should we continue this next week as well? Yeah, we could. We could continue. <clears throat> but uh, I have some plans for next Thursday, actually. Well, Thursday yeah. at this time. So... So I can't do the same time, but if mm -hmm. you have any other other time slots open, I'm open for that. Yeah, we can we can work out which time would be best. Yeah. I might also have some other collabs next week. Yeah. I mean, I I have at least one with Huhu. On uh, Friday, we're gonna play. Was it Friday? I think it was, it was Friday. We're gonna play Night in the Woods again. So, yay! Yeah. Uh, for me, on Thursday, uh, mm -hmm. I will be. Maybe some of you remembers when I did that thing where I drank disgusting things, and some of them were not as disgusting as I thought they would be, and some of them were more disgusting than they I thought they would be. Yeah. I'm kind of doing the same thing again and I think it's it's gonna now become a full-blown series where uh, <laughs> I'm taking taking another VTuber with me and we're gonna drink interesting stuff uh, well this time mm. there will be alcoholic yeah. drinks and then also we have something something pretty disgusting in there <laughs> I'm, That's I'm, going to be a fun I'm definitely time. looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> I will give you a shout uh, out. So, thank you. Yeah. So should we should we raid? Mm, yes, we should raid. Mm. Uh, I see other Pintubers are playing Nekofara. Yeah. Didn't we raid them last time? Did we? I don't remember. We could also... Uh, Allah is playing Deep Sleep and Atreus is playing Kingdom of Hearts. Oh, mm -hmm. and How Kurumiala long? was... Ha huh? Uh, let me... Uh, Kurumiala was having her one month anniversary today. Ah. And uh, she's been streaming for two and a half hours. How long has Atreus been streaming? Artrails, let's see. Uh, Artrails has been on for three hours. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking either address or 
Kurumi. Yeah. Should we, we could go congr congratulate Kurumi yeah. for one month. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I'm gonna write the command. So yeah, I hope hope you liked like this. <laughs> Even though we are a bit chaotic at times, <laughs> and we tend to uh, go on um, talking about some stuff. Uh, but chaotic for a long time. is the good part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But yeah, thank you for the stream. Thank you for watching and and and. and. Thank you for having me, Repo. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Let's continue this on whenever yes. we can fit in <laughs> stream. Yes, we will post the time on Twitter when when we know it. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, let's let's go. Raiding. Let's go. Bye bye. Bye bye and thank you everyone. Thank you for the stream. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs>